Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing my vegan leather handbag collection and accessories. I used to be really big into like designer or luxury handbags and I still wanted that kind of feel for all of the bags that I would be purchasing and one of my favorite brands was Angela Roy so I have quite a few bags from them. I also have some things from Pixie Mood as well as Matt and Nat and actually a bag from Aldo that is very very nice. I wanted to do this video to inspire you and just give some ideas on different companies that have vegan leather handbags and accessories and kind of broaden your view of vegan leather and obviously cruelty-free bags and accessories. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and if you want to see some more cruelty-free beauty and lifestyle videos and if you are interested in seeing my vegan leather handbag collection then just keep watching. I think I will actually start with my oldest vegan leather bag. This is my very first Angela Roy bag. If you're not familiar with Angela Roy, they make luxury, incredibly high quality vegan leather handbags. They are probably my favorite brand when it comes to vegan leather handbags. They're just such good quality and they all look so sleek and fashionable, but they also go with like everyday clothes. They can be dressed up or down. So I did want to start out with this one first because I do not think they actually sell this exact style anymore. This was their bucket bag, but it has a cinchable top with these drawstrings. They do have a bucket bag still, but it's a slightly different style. So I will leave that in the description box. I'll leave all of the links to all of these things in the description. This is actually the bag that I've been using every day for the past few weeks. I do have a lot of what's in my bag videos, but let me know if you'd like to see a new one. This bag has held up very, very well. I have used it so many times. It did come with two different length straps, and I know Angela Roy bags, I think almost all of them, if not all of them, do have changeable straps. And you can obviously get different colors, different styles and everything and just switch it out if you want to give your bag a new look. This was the color Cloud and I think they have other bags in the same color as well, but again, I will leave it in the description box. Also, Angela Roy bags do come with their own dust bags, which is really nice for storing them because you don't want them to get ruined. They are not cheap, obviously. You do have to spend a little bit more money to get them, but still they're totally worth it. So my next bag, which I think is actually my favorite out of all of my vegan leather handbags, this is also from Angela Roy. This style is called the Barton Duffel and it is kind of similar to their Grace Crossbody bags, which is probably another one that I would definitely get in the future. I pretty much want every single one that they have, but obviously I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> this bag is the perfect size for literally everything. It's not too big and I really like the boxy shape to it because it's extremely roomy. Also does come with a larger thicker strap that you can use as a crossbody. Usually I do use it just as a shoulder bag actually. And of course they're removable too so if you did want to just use it as a little like handbag you can definitely do that too. I'm pretty sure all of the Angela Roy bags come with a pocket on the inside as well as a zipper pocket too. I'm just gonna keep going with my Angela Roy bags. This is the Angela Roy Share Mini Tote. They have a larger size of this one and they also have a micro tote which is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. It is again another one of their bags that I would really like to have in the future. You obviously don't need to have this many bags but I have been sent a lot of them for videos and I use them all the time. I switch handbags like every couple of months. I didn't need one as big as the regular size share tote, so I thought that this was just a perfect everyday size. I really liked that it is totally open on the front, but it does have a little zipper on the inside and a magnetic snap closure. Most of their new bags also have this little red, I think they call it signet or something like that. It's basically their like brand mark for their handbags and they didn't used to do that, but I actually think it's really cute and it just makes them a little bit more like recognizable as an Angela Roy bag. This particular color is called light gray and I think it comes in a total of six different colors. They also have the Cher 2.0 and it's a little bit different. I think it has a flap that comes over the front so it just kind of keeps it closed a little bit better. But I personally really like this style because it's really easy to get things out of it. This one also does come with a longer shoulder strap if you want to use it as a shoulder bag or over crossbody. 
or obviously you can just hold it like this. Either way, it's such a perfect bag. I love all of these ones. My last Angela Roy bag is also another bag that they do not make anymore, but it is also one of my favorites. So I wanted to share it. And they do have bags that are very similar to this style. I think it's called the Hamilton Crossbody. And I don't even think I could tell you the style name of this one because it is a little bit older. I like these really small crossbody bags. They're perfect for every day. And this one has a lot of compartments inside. It actually opens up quite wide. My phone always fit easily in this front pocket. And then this is just a center section to put whatever you want it in, obviously. And then there is a smaller little pocket opening in the back that you could put cards into or a key. And then obviously this little pocket on the inside too. So those are all of my Angela Roy handbags. Next, I want to share my Pixie Mood backpack. I did a giveaway with them this past summer for one of their backpacks and a wallet and they're so cute. So Pixie Mood is a more affordable, cruelty-free, vegan leather option for handbags and accessories. This is the backpack that I chose. I love this color so much. It was so perfect for summer. I used it like every single day and obviously it holds so much stuff. This is called the Kim backpack and they also have a mini Kim backpack. It's literally this, but just shrunken. It's so cute. I really love this backpack because it has a zipper closure underneath the flap. So. When you're wearing backpacks, sometimes it can be a little sketchy if you're in like a huge crowd and you can't feel if somebody's like looking in your backpack, but this makes it a little bit harder to get into it, which is really nice. And that is something that I really appreciated with this design. This backpack can also be worn as a shoulder bag, but I just like to use it as a backpack, but that is because the strap here can actually be pulled up to use as a shoulder bag if you want. I think the Kim Mini would probably be a lot better for using as a shoulder bag, but I just really like to use it as a backpack. The lining of this backpack is also made with recycled water bottles, which is really cool. And the pattern on the lining is actually little water bottles. I think it's really cute. It also has a zipper pocket in the back as well as two little pockets on the front side here. It holds so much stuff. The Kim backpack is also available in seven different colors. I do have a wallet from Pixie Mood as well. This I got at the same time as the backpack and I also wanted to share some accessories. Angela Roy does accessories as well. I know that they have cute little coin purses, but this is one of my favorite wallets. I love how this one looks. The inside is also made with the lining from recycled water bottles. I really like this one. I love the croc texture on it and it has the gold hardware that I like. It also holds quite a bit of cards and it does have a little coin zipper pouch in the back. This style of wallet is called the Sophie wallet. I think this is the white croc color and Pixie Mood actually has a ton of wallets available on their website. Another one of my favorite brands for vegan leather bags and accessories is Matt and Nat. I think I first saw Matt and Nat at Plenty. It is a Canadian store, one of my all time favorites. Matt and Nat also does shoes as well. So it's not just handbags and wallets. So I have a pair or two pairs actually of their vegan leather boots and they are incredible quality. Like so luxurious and of course their bags and wallets and other accessories are just as good as well. This is another really spacious wallet. I believe the lining of the Matt and Nat accessories are also made with recycled plastic bottles. It says they recycle on average over 3 million bottles per year. That's awesome. It holds tons of cards in here and it also does have a zipper pouch for coins and then another little opening here, a little pocket for some other things that you might need to get to quickly. Matt Nat is another brand that has a ton of wallets and accessories available. So I honestly couldn't even tell you the exact name of this one. I think it might be the Motive wallet. If not, it looks very, very similar. So I will leave that in the description box too, just in case you are interested in this one. My last vegan leather handbag that I have to show you guys is from Aldo. I don't typically buy really anything from Aldo, but I was at a dinner a few years back and Olina was there from I Am Just Olina and I was like, where's your bag from? It looks so high quality, very luxurious. And she was like, oh, it's from Aldo. So I actually ended up getting it for Christmas and it is one of my favorite like fancier 
dressier bags. This is called the Aldo Greenwald Crossbody Bag. The reason I liked it so much is because of this like quilted stitching in the like chevron pattern, but all of the chain is also black. So it just looks very luxe and looked way more expensive than it actually was. I think that this was maybe around $50 and I actually checked and they are available on Prime Wardrobe. So you can actually still purchase this bag. I wanted to make sure that this was still available because it is such a like simple but luxe looking bag definitely looks like a designer bag but obviously it's not and it is vegan leather so I will leave the Amazon link to this in the description if you are curious about it but it is just such a nice bag it's very thin actually but it does fit a lot of stuff in there there's actually two separate pockets inside for some reason I think I have a pen or what is this it's a lipstick I have a lipstick in my bag still I don't think I've used this one for like well over a year. I haven't had to go anywhere fancy, so I haven't needed to bring it out. But it does have little pockets on the inside and a zipper pocket on the back and it just looks way more expensive than it actually is. So that's all of my vegan leather handbags. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have a favorite brand that you like to buy vegan leather handbags or any type of accessories from in the comment section and I will check it out and see what other things that I could be potentially buying in the future. I really don't need to spend any more money, but I always like to know what's out there. Let me know what your favorite handbag was from this video in the comments as well. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, check out some of my other videos, subscribe, hit the subscribe button below this video if you want. And I hope you're all having an amazing day. If not, I hope tomorrow is even better and I will see you in my next video. Bye.